might be an Ephraimite or something like that, but, you know, even she can see it, all right? A lot of people didn't even know that there was an incident with another bridge uh, just hours um, apart from the Francis uh, Scott Key Bridge where you had a fire that was going on right below the bridge and they tried to blame it on um, spontaneous combustion, you know, which was a like, you know, they, uh, I know they, they know that the, the masses of the people are idiots, but <laughs> damn, you know, like really? So uh, let, let's, let's play this real quick. All right, shit is getting weird. So not only did we have the Maryland Key Bridge literally collapse after being hit today by a cargo ship, there was also a massive fire underneath the Valley View Bridge in Ohio literally three hours after the first bridge was knocked down. But now the George Washington Bridge is literally falling apart as we speak. Now, did this just happen or was this like this? And if it's been like this, why are they letting people drive over this bridge? I Now, if it's been like that, then that just, you know, uh, it just further proves that the infrastructure of America is shit. <laughs> All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> I'm going to put my two cents in this because there's a whole lot of significance going on behind these, the infrastructure, the bridges, everything's failing here in Babylon. This is why Yahweh Bashim Shai, he's what, getting ready to X, X gonna give it to you, right? He gonna X this place out. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth. And sincerity. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this lesson a little bit different, okay? Because we've all seen the brothers are all over this. The elders, the apostles are all over this, and we should be. We should stay occupied in prophecies. It even talks about this in in, in Revelation uh, in, in uh, Isaiah, book of Isaiah, about the destruction of this place, the storehouses. You know, men shall be afraid. Uh, Egyptian against Egyptian. There's all kinds of scriptures we can go into here, all right? But pay attention. This is 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, we, we, all, see, we all see the videos and even, you know, what I just showed you, you know, from the elder uh, GMS uh, Vegas sit downs, Elder Karatazai, right? Out of Vegas. You know, what, what that uh, Ephraimite lady was bringing up. Okay? And, and, and everybody sees it. It's all over TikTok. It's all over every damn thing, man. You can clearly see explosions. You can you can clearly see how the ship directed itself. You know, like made an effort, directed itself. Now you could have, uh, to, you know, towards that bridge, and then it just collapsed. This is this is like a, another nine one one. I'll say it that way. You know, a controlled demo. Uh, you know, you get. We got to be easy with what we say, but damn man, you, that's why I read this scripture. You can't see it to you, Jakes. That can't see it, man. You lost in the salt straight up. All right, so let's go here. It just this it reminded me of something. Let's see, uh, see, uh, Baltimore Key Bridge, right? Francis Scott Key. What did he write? The Star Spangled Banner. What did that go into? The hireling slave. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Baltimore Key Bridge collapsed. Latest update: six workers presumed dead, right, un unalived, as recovery e efforts resume, right? So, I don't. How many times? These ships have gone under and, and done this and done that. How fail safe it is. But then you got other bridges and other places and other infrastructures that are failing and crumbling. It's right here in Babylon. This place is through. All right. So I, I pulled this up. It reminded me of this song right here. I'm going to read this. And hopefully this is edifying. Exploring the alleged grisly meaning behind London Bridge is falling down. Listen to this very closely. All right. The English nursery rhyme, right? London Bridge is falling down. Seems to be a, a, a innocent uh, on the surface, but scholars believe it is a reference to an immert, 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 slock, I said it wrong. All right. Demi's pop-ups. 
All right. The medieval punishment where a person is locked inside a room until they died. All right. Pay attention to this now. Look, look, brother Bon Malak. Let's go. Let's read this. Many of us are so familiar with the nursery rhyme. You see, it, it just reminded me of this song, right? London Bridge is falling down. All right. It reminded me of the nursery rhyme. All right. London Bridge is falling down that we could sing it in our sleep. We remember playing the London Bridge game in the schoolyard with our friends chanting the tune and trying not to get caught at the arch as the what as the arch fell down. Now you go back and look at this bridge. All right. You go back and you look at this bridge right here. Arches. All right. And, you know, and a lot of bridges have arches. That's the, the, you know, the way they're built. Right. As the arch fell down. Let's keep going. I don't think there's any there's anything else I wanted out of this. Salakia. Let's see. London Bridge is falling down. Uh, my fair lady. Uh, off to prison you must go. That's what I wanted. Off to prison you must go. You must go. You must go. Off to prison you must go. My fair lady. Now what does the scriptures talk about? Prison houses, right? See, I told you I'm going to take this a little bit different route. And this won't be a, a long lesson at all. I'm actually sort of busy today. Just, just you know, get something in through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Let's read this. Listen very closely. Isaiah 42 and verse 22. But this is a people. Who is this people talking about? The Israelites, right? For this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them hid in holes, snared in holes. They are all hid in what? Prison houses. Right. London bridges falling down prison. Go to prison. You in prison. This is a prison house. See, and what's and what's going to happen in this prison house? And I'm mainly talking about, you know, North America, uh, uh, Babylon. What's getting ready to happen in this prison house? The storehouses, everything going to get messed up. The infrastructure's getting messed up. X is uh, uh, they got all these omens going on. Oh, Salakia. Ouch. I'm not, I hurt myself earlier. Anyway, you know, uh, you got all these uh. Storehouses closing, the bridges. Now it's it's said that uh how many trucks, how many billions of dollars a day it was like twenty eight or some billion dollars a day travels on that bridge. What is that going to do to the economy? All right, we already know that the, you know the, uh, the price of diesel, you know which which is, it's carrying all the uh, the the weight is carrying America. That's that's the whole economy really. It's shipping things back and forth. It talks about that in Revelation 18th chapter, verse 4. Matter of fact, let me finish this and we'll go there and we'll read about it. Okay? But this is a people robbed and spoiled, and they are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey. They hid where? In prison houses, right? London bridges falling down, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. Now, let's go here. Let's go on down here, and we'll move to Revelation 18, Revelation 18 chapter, uh, let's get it in the King James Version, okay, there we go, Revelation 18 chapter, here it is right here, okay, after this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, what, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils. And the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every hateful and unclean bird. Now, these damn Edomites somehow, you know, they, they got that build back better plan. Right. But how about Shem Yahushua? What did he say? He's going uh, 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 the devices of the crafty. Well, how, how that scripture go? I think I got it pulled up. He's going to disappoint them even while they're eating. See, they think they're going to have enough time to build it back as they want. You know, they're NWO, if you will. But I don't see it uh, lasting, you know, another Honestly, two years ago, I said two years. I, I'm going to say it again, you know, just, just speaking as a man. I don't see it lasting another two years. Apostle Tahar said five years. I mean, you know, we, you know, we're just speaking as men here. All right. Verse three, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants, listen to this very closely. The merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundances, abundance. Of her delicacies. Now, America is known for moving things around. You know, their ports, their uh, uh, their entryways. That's how all the money has been made. That's how everybody's laid down with this damn whore. This great whore, which in fact is America, Babylon. See that? 
Let, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. See, he said Egyptian against Egyptian. You've got uh, all kinds of uh, migrant, you know, so-called migrant people coming in military aged. The, uh, the, uh, the infrastructure is gone. Everything's on the rise. The, the food sky high, not to mention messed up. OK, you got all these omens, all these omens, uh, eclipses and blood moons. All these things are happening. That's why you have about Shim Yahusha told us to look up for your redemption. Draw if nigh. OK, so let's go back here. All right. And let's go back to the prisoners. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Isaiah 42 and verse 6. I, the Lord, Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and will, and will keep and will, he will keep us and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles, right? Right? And that, those are Israelites. Verse 7. To open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners. There's that word again. What? From the prison. And this whole place, this whole earth is a prison for the Israelites. But soon come, it's going to be reversed, trading places, right? And them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. There's that word again. See? London bridges falling down, falling down. The infrastructure. And we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. We see it happening. Let's see it here. Coast Guard says... Finding survivors unlikely after Francis Scott Key bridge collapsed. Francis Scott Key, again, wrote what? The Star Spangled Banner. What are they talking about? What, what, are they, what was he talking about? What does prisoner mean? See? We, what does prisoner mean? The, the hireling slave, I think that's what it went into. Let me, let's go here. You see, a major bridge in Baltimore partially collapsed. We know that. Francis Scott Key bridge. And this, this it's, another, it's another omen. OK, because he wrote in that Star Spangled Banner talk about uh, the, the hiring, the hireling slave. I wish I had to pull up the. Uh, you see, X on X after container ship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Outlandish conspiracy theories. <laughs> Here it is. It, it, Esau, China, it's the same M.O. Everybody sees through it now. Everybody sees it. You the, them left hand spirits for, given to you from your about some you ain't working no more. All right. See, you, you can't fool us. Didn't the scripture say deceive the very elect? And that's why time is being short. He ain't going to have enough time to, uh, to do and uh, what he said he thinks he wants to do. He ain't going to have that time. Okay? They, the day shall be short and what? For the elect's sake. And that's what the scripture said. You see, outlandish conspiracy theories are uh, uh, calculated on X. On what X? Uh, there's that there, X again. You, you already know what that is. After a container, uh, container ship struck a major bridge in Maryland, uh, caught, uh, and see, causing it to collapse. Yeah, okay. Early this morning, yeah, it looked like a controlled demo to me. Anyway, I was looking for. Um, no, it's not here. I don't need to get it. It said it talked about the hiring slave and all that. It's racist as hell, man. You already know what it is against the Israelites, right? So let's go here. Second Ezra six and verse twenty two. Here um, we go. Woo -woo. It's a spiritual battle, isn't it? When you blow a trumpet, what? What? That's a. Hey, that, that's the letting you know that the battle is its own, baby. It's on like Donkey Kong, right? See, and all kinds of the, all these movies coming out. Uh, the uh, for the elder that you know that uh, that I uh, posted a little clip that I posted in the beginning of this video. He went into it. Even and even show, they show you in the movies and all that. What was that movie? I Am Legend. You remember that movie? I Am Legend. So lucky. I'm talking to my little daughter right now. But you know, whatever. I'm, I'm speaking to the congregation at the same time. But uh, in that movie, I Am Legend. What did they do to that bridge? Do you remember what they did to the bridge? They blew it up. You remember? So it's it's all right there in front of everybody. They blew that bridge up. All right. Desensitize you. Let's read this. Second Ezra six and verse twenty two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall be suddenly, suddenly be found empty. And how? This is, you know, how about Shimei Yahushai is on a whole different level, man. Whole different level. He's showing these devils and showing everybody in, in these prophecies exactly what he's doing and how he's doing it. And he can do it in all kinds of different ways. You see? 
You, you, uh, your arms are too short to box with Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, and that's what's up. So with this bridge going down, what was that? Twenty eight was it? Twenty eight billion dollars a day, something like that, uh, moving uh, to and fro across from that bridge. What's going to happen to the food supplies? The suddenly, what it said suddenly, it didn't say you're going to notice, damn, man, this, uh, they used to have uh, four shelves of this. No, suddenly it's going to be empty. And we all know that there's, what, three days supply in, in uh, either grocery store or supermarket, if you will. It's only three days supply. And you saw, you saw the trial run, if you will, with that what? With that, you know, wax, you know, you know, you know that, uh, that Jesus juice. We'll say it like that. That Michael Jackson juice. All right. We all saw it. It's, you know, though. You know, I, I, I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say it. Anyway, you already, you already know what I'm talking about. But when that happened, what? And they had everybody locked down for two years. The storehouses, what? They got, they suddenly got empty. And it's going to be worse this time. Yeah, how about some y'all shots not playing? You better repent before it's too late, Jake. You better repent. Come on. Let's go. Verse 23. Oh, there's that trumpet. And the trumpet shall give a sound when uh, uh, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. See that? When you hear that trumpet, them war drums, man, beaten. It said men shall be afraid. Women shall be afraid. Men shall be as a woman in travail in their pangs, man. Don't you understand? Suddenly shall the storehouses be empty. All kinds of different things. Verse 24, and at that time shall friends fight one against another, Egyptians against Egyptians, you damn Americans. Like what enemies? And earth shall stand in fear. What earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein? The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. See? In what? Three hours they shall not run. Them springs, you know, that could go, I don't know, go into the gas stations or even go into the abundancy of the delicacies of Babylon. Okay? And the men that are received shall see it. Do you see? See what I'm getting into? See? Who have not tasted death from their birth. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. Let's keep going. Verse 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit, the deceivers, they are deceiving us and saying, oh, did you now it's just this conspiracy theory. No, it didn't really happen. But everybody saw the explosions. Everybody saw it, you know, drop down like, oh, uh, like building uh, 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 seven. We'll just say it like that. Y'all saw that. Everybody saw it, man. And nobody believes it. The, the, the craftiness of these damn devils, man. See, for evil shall be put out. And deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And that's going on to the four corners of the earth. Coming out to what? The mouth of the prophets. And this word and this truth has been given uh, by uh, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. That's what's up. Okay. Second Ezra. 15 verse 11, but I will bring them what I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt, Babylon, spiritual, what Sodom and Egypt with plagues. This is, they, they, and they think that they, they think that they're trying to bring in their NWO, but no, no. Yeah. How about Shimei Yahweh is in the mind of the kings. You can't forget that. All right. And smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. Destroy it. He's going to destroy it with them ICBMs. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High Yahweh our power shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for the seeds uh, shall, uh, shall fail uh, through the blasting of hell and with a fearful consolation. Woe to the world that uh, that uh, slack you. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein for a, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. You see that? Didn't it, didn't the verse before that, or, or, you know what I read before that say, what are they going to do? Friends, they're going to be fighting against each other like their enemies, right? See, all this is happening right in front of everybody's eyes. And, and, and one of the most important things is also happening. The M-O-T to the B and... And what? 
The elect is being sealed. They very well may be sealed right now. And Yahweh wrote the Zama part of that number. See that? Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. Their kings and their princes, your Bidens and your damn Kamala Harris's and your, and your damn Trumps, they ain't going to be worried about all that. They ain't going to be worried about, uh, uh, you know, even the higher ups, your damn Rockefellers and all. They ain't going to worry about none of that. They're going to worry about trying to get some food and destroying each other's houses. You, and you got, you got a whole standing army in Babylon right now. And they're going to go, they're going to be graping people and all kinds of different things. It's written in the scriptures. Let's, let's read it again. Verse 16. For there shall be. It said, it, it, it said shall be. It didn't say maybe. Right? There shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes. And the curse of their actions shall stand in their power. That left hand magic that Esau Edom thinks he's going to skate away and get away with it. Now, no, no. Verse 17. Let's read this. All right. With that bridge failing, as they say, <laughs> collapsing, as they say. Right. Pay, pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. All right. Hey, Salakia. Hey, Coco. Chill out. Chill out. One moment. Hey, it's, it's all right. Damn it. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Do you hear that? It's going to be hard to go into a, a different cities where all the infrastructure is busted all up. Now, see, you got to pay attention to this now because uh, Esau, Edom, and these higher ups, they don't give a shit about taking down, taking out bridges and roads and all that. Uh, they can get around on helicopters and airplanes. You see that? For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. See, uh, I got to keep reading. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Woo-wee! Mm-mm-mm. Hey, this is going down. This is going down. All right? Let's see what uh, Baltimore uh, uh, Mayor Brandon Scott talking about we're going to build back better. That's what I was... Yeah. No, I'm not even going to go into that. Not even going to go into it. Let's go here, and we'll close out. Job 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. They're crafty as hell, man. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. <laughs> they meet with darkness upon their beds, don't they? They, uh, they cannot sleep unless they cause something to fall, right? All right. In the daytime and grope in noonday as in the night. But he saveth who he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. Woo, woo. See that? You know, I was there before. I'll leave that alone, damn demons. All right? Yeah, so I'll close out right there. And hopefully this lesson was edifying. That's just, you know, my take on that, man. We all, we all know. Let's read it again. We all know. And be not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right. All right. Here we go. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to trust to preach Hamashiach Yahweh's gospel and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. So, hey, if you got eyes to see, you can see it. If not, oh, well, we move. If a ninja can't get it, we moving on. Give it all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles. And the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Let's go. Let's go. Keep your eyes peeled open, man. All right. All kinds of things is coming down the pipe. You know, and, and it's, it's going down. How about some y'all shy ain't playing? Repent before it's too late, Jake. Before it's too late. All right. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Kum yasharala. And wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.